Oh, you know. Yeah, it's know. bright. That is so awesome. But it tastes Spotlight. good. It tastes good. Spotlight. Wow. Okay, so this is... Um, this is really awkward for me because most of you who know me know that I do not like the camera, which is surprising, but I don't. I used to model when I was 16, so how could I not like the camera? I used to sing when I was 16, so how do I not like the camera? But I don't like the camera. I like being behind the scenes. <clears throat> but since everyone has said um, some pretty incredible and amazing things, and it always amazes me when people speak because I wonder to myself, who are they talking about? Because when I think about myself, I think about someone who just simply loves God. I think about someone who is just grateful that God brought me from where he brought me from to where I am today. And so I feel a sense of obligation. You know, um, <clears throat> other people might see it as, you know, you're highly favored and all these different things. I see it as... It's my obligation to God. You know, when he pulls you from where he pulls you mm -hmm. from, Amen. you have a right to do what's necessary. In other words, you, you, you don't have a right to keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. I always say that. When God pulls you from where he pulls you from, you don't have a right to keep your mouth shut. So I don't feel like I have a right to keep my mouth shut. And I just want to say to everyone who's here, I realize that it's a Saturday. You make sacrifices to come away from your family. Some of you have drove driven a very long distance to come and to share my 50th birthday. Mm -hmm. You've come to support the book release, and I'm grateful for that. Those of you who know me know that I don't push the sales of the book. I believe God will do that. But what I want to push is the grace and the mercy that God so lovingly shows each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So when you purchase the book, you're purchasing the story, you're purchasing God's goodness, you're purchasing God's greatness, you're purchasing his favor, you're purchasing his shedding of his blood. So it's not just a book. So for me to share the story, it was to share my God, it was to share my Lord, it was to share my Redeemer, it was to share my Savior, it was to share the one who pulled me up out of the dead, because I was dead, y'all. Mm -hmm. I was dead. I was mm -hmm. a dead woman walking. Hear me, a dead woman walking. I went to work every day, dressed to the nine, smelling good, looking good. And I say that with all humility, but I was a shell. I was a dressed, mm -hmm. smelling good shell. So here today, we're not celebrating me. We're celebrating God, because God mm -hmm. has done great things. He has done wonderful things. So I want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for your support. All those who have supported the vision over the years, it's not me, it's God. You're supporting his vision. You're supporting his will. And you're helping people. That's what it's about, y'all. It's about the people. Mm -hmm. So thank you for honoring me. But in doing so, honor him. Amen. Thank you.